Hey guys and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Gmetrics test prep software. If you would find the web shortcut on your desktop named Gmetrics SMSE and go ahead and double click. If for some reason you don't have that shortcut on your desktop, you'll simply go to gmetrics.net. Okay? Then you're going to click the G to log in using your Google account. We're going to use our student Google accounts to sign in, so you just click that. Yours is going to be student ID number at share.brevardschools.org, so you will enter that, okay, when prompted. Once you enter that, it will likely ask you to log in using your launch pad, okay, and then it will. Um, eventually place you at this screen here, which is your G metrics dashboard. You may get a screen at the top that looks something like this for an access code. Your instructor will provide this code for you and then you hit redeem. Once you hit redeem, then you'll get to a screen um, like this that shows you any recent activity. You likely don't have any and study guides and that type of thing that your teacher will set up for you. So the first place you're gonna to wanna to end up going is to start a new test. So you'll click that icon. Again, your teacher will tell you what program you're using. For this example, let's look at Adobe. Adobe Photoshop. And let's say uh, Photoshop CC test one has been assigned to to you, the training mode to be more specific. So you'll click that. At that point, you'll get a prompt. Hey, do you want us to open the Gmetrics SMS desktop software? If there's an, a checkbox to say, always remember this, check it. If not, just hit open Gmetrics SMS. It will search for Photoshop on your actual computer. Here is the Adobe plugin that it's installing and now it will attempt to launch Photoshop with the built-in Gmetrics testing panel. Once Gmetrics successfully opens Photoshop, it will load the Gmetrics testing panel. If it doesn't look like this, or the testing panel is in a weird position, we can always go to Window, Workspace, and make sure that we have the Gmetrics Workspace selected. It may be down in this list for you. If it loads, but it's in a weird spot, you can always go to Reset Gmetrics, and then it will snap back into place here. The Gmetrics testing software presents itself in two different ways multiple choice, which you see here. In training mode, you have the option to use the help button, which will, in theory, just give you the answer. Uh, the best way to proceed with this is to work through it on your own. If it's just not happening, you're not getting it, then use that help button to bail you out. In the end of the day, in a training mode, you want to get a perfect score. So use the help button when necessary. So you'll have multiple choice questions presented. I'm gonna click the summary and just jump to an actual simulation. You will also have tasks within Gmetrics that ask you to complete a certain task. For example, create a new document, okay? So you'll actually go in, create a new document for film and video. HDTV 720p setting, there you go. Name it, movie, accept all other default settings. So you will be interacting and actually using Photoshop um, as part of completing these tasks. So if I hit create and then next, it will give you immediate feedback, okay, correct? If it was incorrect, you can retry and just try again until you get it correct. At the end, you will have the option to um, click summary, go through, all right, review any of them that you marked, meaning, 
hey, I'm not sure about this one, I'll mark it and come back to it later, it will allow you to do that, okay? Once you complete a training or testing mode in Gmetrics, you're gonna see your score report. To earn credit for completing that training or testing mode in Gmetrics, I'm going to need you to turn in a screenshot of your score report. To do that, down here at the bottom in your search, you're going to search for the Snip and Sketch app to take a screenshot. So you'll click that, you'll get this window that appears, you're going to click on New, and then you are going to drag a box around all the details regarding your score report. So I need the name of the training, or testing your name and all the details including the score. Once you get here, you've drawn a selection around what you need to screen capture. You can click the save icon at the top. Save this to your desktop as this one for example was InDesign testing mode. So I would just put in InDesign testing score report and then save it to my desktop. Okay, then if you go to your desktop, you'll see that it's right here. This is the image that you will turn in. You will upload this file and turn this in to Google Classroom. Okay, so if it was a Photoshop assignment, you would take the screenshot and turn that in. I just use InDesign because it was a, the closest score report I could find. Okay, that's how you earn credit. Again, need all the details, name of the exercise, your name, all the details, and the score. Make a selection around that, save it, and then that's what you'll turn into Google Classroom to earn credit. All right, that's it for Gmetrics. Good luck, guys. See you in the next tutorial.